More spiders! More spiders! Die, you stinking spiders. Welcome back, Galactic Survivalists. Let's continue our exploration of the Radiated Zone. I am seeing a lot of raw pentaxid, so I'm going to go ahead and collect some of that. You also can fi find raw pentaxid on the bottom of the lakes sometimes, but the, by far the, bless the best place to go is the moon. The moon will have the crystals everywhere, and oftentimes will actually have pentaxid deposits. So you can combine all you need to get away and explore the universe. Well, this is cool. I don't see this good now. That strange looking rock right there is cobalt. And cobalt is extremely useful in the very little part of the game. But this should build a slightly more advanced weapons. Now that I have a space suit on, light armor I can push out. And that activates my shield of light. That way I can see what's in the area at night. Could have sworn I saw another cobalt stone here. I'm gonna go try to find it. Tax it. I knew I saw some. And there it is. Get some cobalt. Well, I found out where the Santhium to build this thing came from. Apparently, I had some hard steel blocks. Go ahead and remove those. As I'm using my salvage, you can see the points going down. Done. No. Eventually, it's destroyed. You also can hold down the button if you want to to make it go through quicker. I don't like doing that because sometimes it starts at the next block. And with a multi-tool level 2, that could potentially be bad. You can end up taking out multiple other blocks in a single shot. And even if you don't take out blocks, you're going to damage them. And I can't repair the blocks right now unless I have multi-tool. Well, I've done some revamp to my HV. I went and got rid of some of those heavier steel blocks and instead I added composite blocks so hopefully that will help me get around just a little bit easier. And now that is nice. Amazing. It's still a little top heavy but it's handling a little harder to turn but it's handling much better than it was before. It looks like that by replacing those steel blocks with the composite blocks I took my weight down a few tons, which is making my vehicle much easier to move around. Nope, still no good. I can't even get around from both the mountains. I think I just gonna have to build a whole new HV. I don't think there's any fix in this one. I believe one of my problems was I put, I poorly distributed the weight. The weight, but that time there was no work trips in place. So anytime I hover up. Pushes my vessel on its side, and then I can't fly it. If I would have leveled up the balance of the weight a little bit better, probably would be working quite a bit better right now. Well, that sucked. While trying to remove my HV, I got myself stuck on a giant rock, and I can't break free. Huh. I did manage to finally build a break free. I just need to find a place that has the resources I need. I'm. I really don't want to build right so close to my starting location because there's just only small deposits but the way things are going right now that might be a good option. Man. Get out of this stinking radiated zone. I should really get the mountains I think. Nope. Got the first mountain but not the second. Holding the shift key will flip your HV back over and kind of get it level again. Which I'm kind of using to my advantage right now. It's not staying up. There we go. Only so clear the hill. Get down this radiating zone. Let's lower the hover thrust thrust a little bit so I actually can fly straight. Once I get going, I just gotta keep going. If I stop, very easy to get stuck. So I'm just going to keep on exploring and keep on going. I'm not going to go over the hills because my HV can't really handle it. I just seem to be surrounded by mountains and that's kind of an issue. Because I'm having so many issues with this HV. There we go. Pick up our speed again. The 
I did an extra thruster underneath to our small engine to help with thrust. I might want to add a few more just to give me the oomph I need to get around. Seems like I'm kind of trapped until I build something better. I do have a nice SV that I can bring in. And that has been built since they added weight restrictions and so it has more capacity and more ability to fly around. I think that's what I end up doing. Gather some more resources and build a SV. And then use that to find myself a new home because I'm just trapped here it seems like. Let's go over to the three main deposits. Start draining them again. Get some ingots and turn into a small SV. Upper silicon and iron. To make my ship I need to let's see here, go into my factory. I'm going to spawn in Explorer 1. Let's go to factory. I have some of the resource left over. Some copper in there. Silicon in there. Rot ores, I don't think no rot ores will not work. Carbon substrate, which we can make logs work. No, it has to be carbon substrate, okay. Steel plates will work. I guess I'll see if I can gather the resource together to build that. Small wreckage will give me the iron plate, so I'm gonna go deconstruct that. And get that SV up and going. And then I should finally actually be able to continue exploring in this game. Um, the best way to lower structural integrity is to try it out center blocks. Which in time, if you start taking away center blocks, you'll start to get some structural integrity changes. Now, oh, and there's something. There's a little bit. Ooh, there we go, a nice big chunk. I hear bugs again. Where are they? I want to kill them. Where are you? Interesting. Yeah, they are. Alright. Green block should fall pretty soon. Here. There it goes. And I see another one. I seem to get angry at you when you start destroying things. I think I'm going to resave my vehicle as we come updated with the lower cost. And the last of the debris. And there goes the wrecked ship. Let's see if we have enough. F2 of the factory. Got our steel plates. Ah, a little bit more carbon, a little bit more copper. I know I have more copper back at base, right, and hopefully I had enough iron to just give me enough to make that ship I want to make. Stinking bugs. Death to them all. Oh yeah, sweet, hit the late. For some reason, structural integrity does not affect players' ships. They always look red. And that's just the way it is. Here's a tip on taking pictures of your ship. F6, you can see the spider's nest, the small wreckage, something else 367 meters away. And then you can see the recon. I push F6, all the stuff on the map disappears. And if I push F6 again, everything on my map disappears. Then you can push Alt O. And we'll go to the recon one, and we will. F7 takes screenshots, F8 shows you your frame rate. And F12 will take shots for um, the Steam, for your Steam account. I like getting a nice view of the vehicle that I'm going to be using. I'm going to push Alt O on it, and I'm going to go down to Recon One. Let's get Save As Recon One. Save. Overwrite it. Oh, and apparently because I'm currently trying to build the Explorer One, that's why there is a green box around it. Now that's interesting. Um, I wanted to go save Recon 1. It created a whole new save file for Recon 1. I guess because I didn't actually build Recon 1 on this server, I built it somewhere else. I had to subscribe to it 
maybe that's why I couldn't overwrite. Well, fortunately for me, I had just enough to bring in that ship. So I'm going to go ahead and start production. And when I come back, we'll have a nice SV to finally continue to explore the area. Thank you for watching my videos. Click that subscribe button. Click on the bell to get notifications when I bring out new videos. Leave comments and suggestions. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And I will see you next time. Until then, keep surviving.